Well, the old girl let me down again, folks. Old Rosie here is throwing fits. I guess she's wore out. So, I don't know if I ever told y'all. A couple months ago, I came out one day and went to start it. Nothing. Dead. Ghost. Not even a click. Which tells me there's an electrical fault somewhere. You know, it's not not a dead battery. Low battery, dead battery. You're going to at least get a click. You're going to get a you know, slow turn. This is nothing. So, back then, I got to digging and looking, and it turned out it was this master on-off uh, switch, which really just interrupts your negative cable. That's all it does. It interrupts your ground. So at the time, I took that off, just bypassed it, grounded straight to the frame. Everything was great for a few months. <clears throat> and then I come out here the other day, and it's the same thing. So I've just gone through just now, cleaned all that real good, made sure I had a good ground to the frame, and now I'm going to have to go through and start troubleshooting just along the system from the battery you know to the key to the starter all that and just try to figure out what's broken now this little deal right there um had a buddy tell me that's a uh he had that go out on his 3400 and i called link belt and asked about it and they said it's just a battery relay and that they said they said oh yeah we sell a ton of those things i'm like oh so you know what's that mean they're complete junk and you just keep selling them or what uh anyway I've got that ordered. I haven't heard from Link Belt that has come in. Um, so what I'm going to try to do today is just go through. I, you know, I don't know that that's the problem. I just think it is. But I'm going to try to go through today and just check everything. Uh, I've got a test light out here, a little multimeter, and just go through and check for voltage all along the system. So like I said, I've already cleaned my ground super good, jumped in there, still nothing. Um, so now I'm going to start walking my way through it and just test her voltage along the system. So luckily, this is a really old simplified machine there's not a lot of computers and wadgets and widgets all over it so i pretty much just got batteries relay and starter so hopefully i won't have to test too many points before i figure it out but i'll let you know in the end what i find <laughs> i got it you guys are gonna like this it's my freaking key switch my key switch so Told you I tested the batteries, made sure I had a good negative, made sure I had 24 volts on the batteries. Crawled up on top and I tested the positive lead on the starter to the ground there and it read 25.2 volts, which tells me, okay, I've got battery juice to my starter. So it's not that little battery really like I thought. Battery juice to my starter. The other thing you see on your starter is a little tiny wire that comes in and hooks to a screw. That little tiny wire is tiny wire is your signal from your key to your solenoid. So for those of you that don't know how starter solenoid works, it's just basically a big relay. It takes a low voltage signal from your key switch, which only engages when you hold the key in that you know start position. And then it closes the circuit on the starter solenoid, which then allows the full 24 volt high amperage charge from your batteries to then crank your starter. Of course, as soon as you let off the key, that wire goes dead, so your starter disengages, but of course at that point your engine's running. So what I did, I, I tested that starter wire and it was dead, 0.0. .0. So man, I climb in the cab and I'm sitting there working on how I'm gonna take my key switch apart to track that down, and which was giving me fits so I can't even figure out how to open up the freaking console. And I thought, well hell, before I go to all this effort to tear my console apart, um, let, me, let me check and see if, if there's even, if I can find a way to get juice to that wire differently. So I crawled up in there and I just, uh, made a connection on that lead wire. I don't know if you can see my, my little red wire here dangling down. So I basically just bypassed my key switch. I ran this red wire in with that wire from my key and I just touched it here in a positive terminal. It just popped right off. So, uh, quick bush fix. Not, not ideal. I prefer to use the key. Um, but until I can get a new key assembly and figure out how to even take this sucker off I can't even find the bolts the whole console you know folds up and moves around I can't even find the bolts to take the top of the console off in order to get the key assembly out so uh, looks like for right now I'm gonna be jumping that wire so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up tape it up make it look pretty and I'll put my little red wire here down you know somewhere where it hangs right there inside the battery box and um, you know I'll still have to turn the key on and off I guess I should see and make sure my hydraulic stuff work. I'll still have to turn the key on and off, obviously, because that disengages and engages all of your hydraulics and stuff. So right now it's in the wrong position. Put my 
Oh dang, yeah, see, so, so my hydraulics are in right now, and I've got no hydraulic control, so, I guess, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, so I got it started at least, but the key still isn't working, which maybe now tells me, maybe, it's one of those little engine relays back inside the battery box, because it may be that the key is working just fine, um, but because of some other relay coming from the battery to provide juice to the key, maybe that's my problem. Ah, I thought I had it. Well, at least got it running. That makes me happy. It's one step closer. All right, got her back for real this time. I've already tested the hydraulics. Everything's engaged and everything seems like it's working fine. I haven't put the machine through real work. I just got in, used all the levers, and they all reacted and responded, and you know, bucket picked up, all that good stuff. So, you know, it's like any typical electrical nonsense. Not really sure what component I fixed, but a couple things I found was there's this fuse link here that I see is ultimately useless because the two wires coming into it, hey, damn it, the two wires coming into it basically touch each other. But the fuse, the fuse was good anyway. But I don't think that was it. The other thing I did was there was two, there was a wire connected there. On, that's that battery relay so I think it is bad. There was a wire connected up there on that probe and I think those are just ground terminals because all the positives are down here underneath uh, connected to the battery. So I think those are all your positive terminals and the ones up top were negatives. Well this one up here it broke because I was trying to take it off and so I ended up just rewiring it over here with the other one. Now you see those two are terminals on the relay. This over here is just a screw in the body of the relay that screw is grounded to the frame by default, those terminals, I think, are more likely to be grounded through the relay itself. So maybe in effect I bypassed the relay. I'm really not sure. But anyway, that's that's the last thing I did. And I was like, you know, I checked everything I could check. So let me just get in and bump the key and sure shit, it fired right up. So that's how it always goes, right when you <laughs> right when you give up and you've had enough, sucker will start. So Anyway, I'm going to jump in here and drive over and uh, knock a few trees down and just put it through the works real quick to kind of run it for about 30, 40 minutes and just see how comfortable everything feels. But it seems like for now, I somehow miraculously fixed it.